So here we have the pieces that we're getting ready to put together for the electronics for the Fokker E machine. Uh, Dancing Wings Hobby recommended a, a quite a nice little um, package of uh, servos and a receiver. Um, and they gave me the link that linked to Amazon.com and uh, and basically the recommended set of servos were these little um, X-Servo, I guess, um, SP017. So they're 1.7 gram servos and four of them in a pack. And it came together with the RX144 receiver. The trick was I'm in Canada and when I put the link into the Canadian Amazon site, it actually came up with a different receiver. It was the 445, which is a little bit too big for this little machine. So I ended up having to, and I, so I bought that and I've got the 445 and I'll use it in another plane. Uh, but what we have now is the set of these uh, 1.7 gram servos and uh, this 144. And I went for the RX144E. So the 144, they, these, these come in a, a um, in kind of like a, a series of options. I think the 145 might be FR Sky, the 144 is uh, DSMX, and the E at the end is a very interesting little um, addition that maybe you blink or you miss it kind of thing, but I noticed that the E has a built-in ESC, which is interesting because the original package that I bought with this model came with the motor with a with an ESC, which is honestly the ESC is as big as the receiver here that includes an ESC. So what I plan to do, uh, and we'll see how that goes, is to not use that ESC to connect this motor to this RX144E receiver plus ESC with the built-in ESC, connect it into these servos. I've got a a little 150 milliamp hour battery uh, that, uh, as far as I can see, should be about right for, for driving the whole thing. And uh, we'll plug it all together and see how it goes. So um, a little tricky because, well, it's our pilot, let's get him out of the way for now. Um, because what happens is when you get the, um, the servos, servos off here, the if you can see the, the, the slots for putting the servos in, which pretty much about the right size for, for the servos here. A little tricky to get into, but not too bad. There's a, a space here to mount the receiver, and then the, the wire that feeds through from the, from the motor, which comes through here, um, just feeds through, and that's gonna need to be connected up uh, behind, in behind there, which is a little awkward but we will figure it out. So step by step, let's see how it goes, putting radio control and power onto the Fokker, this beautiful little machine. I, I love how this turned out from a build perspective. Um, it's really nice with the, you know, the kind of the wiring and how they um, got these little bobbles here on the wires and, um, and the same on the undercarriage on the underside. So they, I mean, it's actually thread, but it looks, it doesn't do anything functionally, I guess, technically, but um, but it really looks nice. And uh, and here we have our tailplane, which I painted, and then the decals, which I um, made it myself. Uh, the interesting, the only interesting thing that's that we'll have to see how it goes is the fact that this elevator is like it's the whole thing. And I guess that maybe that's how the original plane was. I'm kind of worried that it's going to make it really twitchy to fly but um, I'll probably, I'm gonna try and um, put, well, we'll talk that through when we get to putting the control horns on, but how to adjust it so we have a minimal amount of, tr um, of uh, play in the, in the elevators there, and then probably look at tuning the, the receivers so that um, you know, a wide range of movement on the, on the gimbal on the receiver probably turns into a small amount of play on the elevators if we can get that right, uh, and we'll see how that goes. So, um, this is where we are right now. We've got fairly far back center of gravity right now. It's a little bit too far to the um, to the back 
um, and hopefully once we put some of these things into the front, especially with the battery, we'll get our center of gravity uh, more to where it needs to be at the front and uh, we'll um, see where we go with that. So um, gonna, I'll be taking off the, the propeller while we work this through. This is, um, this is the really nice little um, prop saver propeller. I really had it on just for a look. It clips off, really easy to do. Put that away for safekeeping until we have everything built out. And, uh, and I'll be back soon with, um, with doing the wiring. So putting all the wiring pieces together. Effectively, I'm gonna lay out the, uh, the wiring on the board, uh, make sure she all works before trying to put it in together. So come along for the ride, it should be fun. So I've got my trusty scale here. I'll put that towards you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this uh, the basically leftover piece of wood from the build as, uh, as a base for the weighing it because otherwise it's not gonna balance. Just make sure that that balance is on the, yep, okay, that'll work. So this, um, this scale has a tear. Uh, at, if it comes on and it's already got something on it, it'll auto tear it. If not, I could um, hit the tear button, but I can just turn that on. It says hello. Not sure if you can see that. But let's put the plane on and see what kind of weight we have. And there we go. So that says 33.2 four grams 33 and a quarter grams that is smack in the middle of the flying weight spec for the plane according to the box but there's no electronics in here and I'm gonna guess um, actually probably I'm gonna do more than that I'm gonna pull out the electronics in a minute um, I think I showed you those in a separate video I've got a, almost all the electronics ready to go and I, I need to do a little bit of soldering but I can I can weigh the electronics and figure out how much that, that plane is going to weigh fully loaded and ready to fly. And then, um, regardless of what the answer is, I'm going to build it out and we're going to fly it and we'll see what happens. So let's give it a shot. So let's weigh the electronics. What I've got is everything I'm going to put into this uh, Fokker uh, E which is the Eindecker 3 um, Dancing Wings Hobby uh, model, the 420 mill millimeter wingspan, so it's very tiny. And all the electronics are very tiny too. I've got this um, 1S, uh, sorry, 5 amp um, motor, it's 37 kV, 3700 kV, which I have soldered all the pieces on so all the weight with the solder is already there I've soldered the the power on I have two 1.7 gram servos with wires they've got the wrong connectors on that's really what I've been waiting for with this model and so I bought and they just arrived in the mail the connectors that I'm going to use to replace the the connectors that come on to on here which I think are 1.25 pin connectors and these ones are one millimeter pin connectors which is the correct ones that go into the receiver here which is the RX 144E receiver. I really like this receiver it worked out great um, putting it into the the Sopwith pup it's it's so tiny like I mean by itself and I guess um, I could probably undo the plug here I'm not gonna risk it I could like, measure it just with its wires and see but that receiver means that I don't need the, uh, the the ESC that came with the model and I can basically just use because it has a built-in ESC that's what the E means at the end RX 144 has no ESC but this one has a built-in ESC that will control this motor and so I don't need an extra piece of electronics, keeps it very light. So we've got this motor, we've got the receiver, we've got two servos and a, uh, I'm even using this, a small battery. It really sh probably should be a, a 200 
milliamp battery. I'm using a, a 150 milliamp battery to keep it really light. And let's see what that gives us. So there we go. We've got the receiver here, and that receiver is 2.25 grams, 2.26 grams. So just uh, just over two grams. Very very light. The motor by itself is six grams, 5.99. So six grams. Um, we're up at just over eight grams so far with the motor. The, each one of the servos should be 1.7 grams, well 1.8 because of the wire I guess. So, and then if I put two of them on, total of 3.75 grams. So if I put the servos and the receiver together, I should be up at six grams even. Um, and let me just weigh the battery as well separately. So with the battery we've got 4.77 grams, 4.8 grams actually, just stop shaking the table, 4.8 grams. So uh, altogether, I've kind of lost track, but I think we're running around 15 grams. Let's see. And there's everything there. 16.8 grams, 16.81 grams, so close to 17 grams for pretty much the lightest uh, equipment pack you could use in a plane like this, 16 grams. Now that means 17 grams, that's that's a nice even number when you add it together with the, uh, the weight of the plane at 33 grams, that means we're going to hit 60 grams and put on my math right no it's, it's 50 grams um, we're going to be basically 15 grams over what the spec weight is for flying this plane that's kind of interesting because the sock with pup that i just built and the reason why i'm doing this in detail the sock with pup was 60 grams fully loaded uh, where the spec weight was 50, so it was actually 20 grams over. I think the 20 grams, some of it might have had something to do with the um, some of the painting and decoration that I did. Um, I really got excited about making it look really nice, so it's possible I could have spent five grams on on the the extra weight, which honestly doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Five grams, but um, you know when you add it to the fact that we're already overweight by the time we even start. Um, we end up 15 grams over on this model with basically nothing nothing done to it and you know I can probably measure the whole thing when you do that let's, let's, let's put it all together alright so I'm going to put the electronics on first Oops, let's just tear that. Okay, put our electronics on. There's a 16.8 grams. Then I add the plane. Balance it nicely there, and we basically got 50.01 grams, so 50 grams for the whole plane. 15 grams over the, sp the flying weight according to the kit. Now, I'd be surprised if there's anything wrong with this. I've seen the videos, possibly you have too. I've included some videos in some of my, uh, the Dancing Wings videos of the flying kits in, in some of my uh, playlists. I don't think I have the, the Fokker, but I have the Sopwith Pup. And they fly really quite nicely. So I'm not sure if, uh, if this is wrong, uh, but right now I'm looking at at least 15 grams over on this plane being as pretty much as light as I could get it um, and uh, you know and that doesn't include I'm kind of expecting we will weigh in the end that once I get the electronics in and try to push them as far forward as possible I may have to add 
a little bit of weight to the front of the plane just to get the, the center of gravity correct. So, uh, well, I'm going to put the electronics in now. That's the next step after I switch out the connectors on the servos, do a little bit of soldering, and then uh, we'll put it all together and um, give it another weigh in. All right, I'll be back probably. Um, yeah, I think I'll be back after soldering the connectors. There's no point in really showing that, but I will. Um, I will show you how I fit the electronics into the plane. It's another example where probably would have been better to build the electronics in and then build the frame around it rather than trying to fit them in at the end. But. Um, I am where I am because of the circumstances, so that's the way we do it, and uh, you can follow along if, uh, if you need suggestions around how that should, needs to work, and if you don't, then you can skip past it um, if you built the electronics in on the way through. So let's do a little bit of work and I'll be back.